And we're there at the surf ballroom in, uh, you know, Clear Lake, Iowa. And it was it was actually a school night because it was like a Tuesday or Wednesday night or something. And I don't remember now what time it started. Maybe it was 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. And, um, and it was Buddy Holly. The big bopper. But I think the only real hit, he, he only had one hit. And Richie Valens and uh, and Buddy Holly's uh, you know band, and they played all of the songs that he had had as a hit at the time, and maybe some others that he had written that probably later on became a hit. And and I think the curtain closed, you know, somewhere around eleven o'clock, and then they came on and uh, did a. Uh, you know, maybe a one number on Buddy Holly and the Crickets did a one number encore and walked out of the surf ballroom quarter after 11, 11.30, and it was snowing. Uh, big, heavy, wet snowflakes coming down fairly slowly. Uh, there was probably two inches of snow on the car and drove home. Uh, we went to a, a friend's. I didn't have a car, so I rode with a neighbor kid. I think there was four of us, and we go to a little cafe that's usually open and uh, had uh, midnight lunch, went home, because it was a school night, I probably got home at one o'clock in the morning, get up in the morning, and at the time my parents did not subscribe to a morning paper, and I go to school, uh, eight o'clock, Mason City High School, downtown Mason City, and Going between classes, I'd hear these rumors in the hall. Oh, big accident, they're all dead. That's bullshit. And I, I said, this can't happen. This, this, never, this never happened. Somebody's just making up a story. And for whatever reason, at lunchtime, I rarely ever ate at the cafeteria. Uh, I went over to this hot dog stand. And I walked past the offices of the Mason City Globe Gazette. And they had this little glass case in the front of the building that they would put the front page. And there it was. I couldn't believe it. I mean, uh, I think I, I had a grandma and a grandpa that had died. But hell, they were in their 80s. And, and I'm thinking, how can this be? I saw them on stage last night. They were alive and well. They're gone. How can this be? And it really was the first time in my life that it ever hit me that we can be here today and gone tomorrow. And it can happen pretty damn quick. Uh, that was my first experience of seeing somebody die. Well, or I didn't see them, but, and I don't know what time the accident took place, maybe one o'clock in the morning or something like that. And, uh, and then more as I've read the history of this guy that was promoting this uh, tour was not the most legitimate guy around, uh, was screwing, I mean, was taking money and it was a run down, beat up old bus and these guys were tired. And it was simply one night stands and traveling huge distances in this old rickety coach. Uh, so you can't really fault him for wanting to, to, to fly up to Fargo uh, to do the thing. And it's just one of those unfortunate things. But I don't know. It, it, hopefully, it'll be four or five, maybe six generations before the name Buddy, Buddy Holly finally, you know, disappears. I mean, here we are in the 21st century, and we still listen and hear Mozart, Bach, Beethoven, you know, classics. Buddy Holly's a classic. So is Jerry Lee Lewis. Well, I suppose you have to put Elvis Presley in that league. Me, Little Richard. I loved Little Richard. I'm sure he would find out that he was uh, didn't like girls that well, but another story. But but I loved his loved his performances. 
and it was a long time before I ever saw him on, on TV. Uh, listen, listen to it. Love his music. A lot of great music back then. And then somewhere, rock and roll kind of fell off the slippery slope. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> That got his attention. <laughs> now I'll probably see this tomorrow night on the Channel 33 News. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoy and do this and having fun. And, and uh, I think it's a good learning experience. Every day is a learning experience. <laughs> This would probably be a pretty good read. <laughs>